It's the most wonderful time of the year. What's going on guys, I'm Chris and welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be giving you my breakdown of the Hawkeye trailer, the newly released trailer for the upcoming show Hawkeye that comes out November 24th on Disney+. Plus. I'm absolutely stoked for this show. This trailer got me in the holiday spirit as you could tell at the beginning of this video. But before I give you guys my breakdown, definitely hit that like button, comment your thoughts on the trailer down below. Let's have a conversation about it. So I'm kinda of just gonna go shot by shot with this trailer, give you guys my thoughts on it and uh, essentially break it down. So right away we get a shot of the building. I believe it's the Empire State Building, I could be wrong, and it is lit up with red and green Christmas colors, which just gets me pretty hype, I don't know about you guys. Then we get a shot of Clint with his family, they're all sitting eating dinner, and his daughter says this is the first Christmas we've had in quite a while, because that's a fact. They got snapped away, he had to live through those five years, and that's something that this show's gonna tackle that I'm really excited for, because we get to see the downfall of what exactly the blip did on an Avenger. Um, we've had to see that in other characters so far. It obviously took a mental toll on Wanda, as we see in WandaVision, um, and a lot of characters had to recover and cope with it, and we're going to see that in Clint's life. And then we get a shot of Rogers the musical, which I think is just funny as hell because Steve Rogers getting a musical. Then if you get this shot right here in this ear, we actually see an earpiece. Now, this could either be a hearing aid or an earpiece, so some people online have said, oh, it's an earpiece, he's probably on a mission. Others have said it is probably a hearing aid device, and that is the bet I'm going with. And I think we're going to get like a flashback to see why he has this. Could involve Yelena. But then we get a very interesting shot of Hawkeye seeing a news broadcast, and it talks about a masked vigilante, which is Ronan, but it's not Hawkeye as Ronan, it is someone else. Who is it? We'll talk about that in a second, of course. But I find this interesting because does the world know that Ronan was Hawkeye? Does the world even know of Ronan? Or is Kate Bishop just such a massive fan and almost stalker of Hawkeye that she found out he was Ronan at a certain time period, and now she's coming and trying to kind of get his attention on national television? I don't really know, we're gonna find out in the show of course, but I think that she might be just trying to get his attention because she's such a massive fan of Hawkeye. She's essentially Syndrome to Mr. Incredible when Syndrome was a kid before he grew this vendetta and wanted to take down the Incredibles. You get the point. And then we get this cool flashback shot of Hawkeye reminiscing to his time as Ronan, which is clearly a very dark period in his life where he's going through a bunch of inner demons and this show could cold open with Hawkeye's Ronan. So this is where I'm gonna make my first of many comparisons to Die Hard. I literally was talking to Cam when we when the trailer dropped. I said something about it being Die Hard related like twice during the trailer reaction, and then all day I kept saying, it's like Die Hard, it's like Die Hard, it's like Die Hard, which it is, and I'm gonna tell you why. So John McClane, he's a New York City cop who goes over to LA to visit his family, of course. He gotta go to the Nakatomi Plaza for the Christmas Eve party, and it takes place on Christmas Eve, but he has to deal with a group of terrorists and becomes this action hero who has to fight off the bad guys before he can go see his family. Clint, in this situation, is kind of sending his family away. It's the holiday season, and he's going to have to go deal with a threat that we don't really know at this time, but it's going to turn into an action Christmas vibe, so it's very Die Hard-esque in my opinion. And again, he's actually wearing the earpiece here as well, so I do think it's a hearing aid. I really like what they did with the Marvel Studios logo too, the way that it's snowing, and of course the target is in the background. So then we see Hawkeye with some binoculars doing some investigating, a little detective Hawkeye action, if you will. Um, and then we see someone running, and who is it? It's none other than Kate Bishop as Ronan, dressed up as Ronan, and then Hawkeye says, who the hell are you? And I've seen some tweets saying, Thor says, who the hell are you guys? Hawkeye says, who the hell are you? So it's kind of a nice parallel there, maybe. And after Hawkeye says, who the hell are you? We see a really dope shot of her shooting an arrow into a bell tower, and she says, some people have actually called me the world's greatest archer. She's just gonna be such a fun character that everyone loves, a fan favorite already. Uh, much like Yelena was from Black Widow, Kate Bishop's gonna take this show and absolutely put it on her back. An interesting shot though is we see Hawkeye and Kate Bishop in like a kitchen or like apartment area and they both look pretty beat up. This is probably gonna be after that scene where the two of them entangle for the first time, if I had to guess. And then of course we see a Molotov cocktail, which are historically Russian, so I think the Russians could have a hand in this, but it's such a dope shot when Hawkeye takes the Molotov cocktail and throws it right back at him out of the window. And then we see Clint donning a little button-down action and kind kind of zip lining out the window with his bow, very John McClane. And then we get to see shot of him running through what looks like a gala or like a ball or an event of sorts, some very prestigious event. He's wearing a tux and a bow tie, and this is probably gonna be before he jumps out the window if you can put context clues together. But I'm interested to see what event they're going into and why he's dressed up so prim and proper. You get a shot of Kate Bishop zip lining in to save the day and he kind of goes, oh great which is funny because I think they're gonna have that dynamic of he's annoyed by her, but she's gonna end up saving him at the end. Something along those lines. We get this shot of Vera Farmiga, the actress, and a lot of people have speculated she's playing Madame Mask, so that's pretty cool. I'm not opposed to that. I think that Vera Farmiga is a great actress, especially in The Departed. But I do like how almost every few shots we get a Christmas tree or Christmas lights to really emphasize this is the holiday season. And then of course we get a shot of Rogers the musical. If you look, we've got a Thor, we've got a Loki, we've got Cap, we've got Banner down there. 
We've got Tony, Black Widow, Hawkeye himself, and then a bunch of other characters. If you want to break it down, I'm sure there's really in-depth breakdowns of those characters. But I can just see a comedic scene where, like, I bet Hawkeye runs into, like, War Machine or another character. But for real, how funny would it be if they ran into Sam and Bucky at this? Come on. Then we get a shot of Lucky the dog. Another Marvel animal for the dub. We love Goose. We love all these animals like Morris, who whatever Morris is. So I think this is really exciting that we're going to get to see another cool sidekick pet in the MCU. Is he training people? Is he at a cosplay event? The world may never know. The best gifts come with a bow. What a saying. And the poster as well. It's so simplistic. I really love what they did with that. But the shot of Kate and Hawkeye walking together, they're clearly going to that gala event, the prestigious party, whatever you want to call it. They're going together because they're both dressed up very fancy. And they're probably tracking down whoever the villains of the show are going to be. And I'm sure that's probably going to be like the second episode if I had to guess. And then again, we get another Christmas shot and they're like fighting in an ice rink. They're back to back with their bow and arrows, which is just a money shot of the trailer in my opinion. And then we get this really interesting shot of someone who we can't really tell who it is in red red and they look up and it's very red lighting very red room like Drakeoff Black Widow vibes I don't know if they're gonna ever even touch on that because we know Clint was involved with that pass for Black Widow I think they're gonna let by bygones be bygones I can't say that bygones be bygones and they're not gonna mention that but who knows and then we see the shot of a car chase going down and a lot of people have said that's Echo in the back seat we'll see that more in another trailer or in the show hopefully and then Kate shoots this arrow that blows up the car and she said there are arrows more dangerous that one and the look Hawkeye has on his face is pretty funny and then the actual money shot of the trailer is them jumping off of like a bridge pulling their arrow which is a direct parallel to when Hawkeye jumps off the roof in Avengers and shoots up that's one of the most iconic Hawkeye shots and this is like kind of symbolizing a passing of the mantle in my opinion as I think this show is going to give Hawkeye aka Clint a little nice wrap up to his character. I don't think they're gonna kill him. He's gonna retire to the hillside and Kate Bishop is gonna be the new Hawkeye. I really love what they did with the logo too as the arrow shoots into the A and boom, the target lights up. Original series streaming November 24th, the day before Thanksgiving. And then the most diehard line delivery in the entire trailer is the final shot where he says, this is some Christmas and then turns and run and the trumpet flares in the background. That's absolutely a line John McClane would say as he's always constantly got these one-liners being very snippy and sarcastic throughout. I think Clint needs to channel his inner John McClane and he'll become a fan favorite because I know a lot of people love Clint, but I think the show's going to skyrocket him in a lot of people's rankings. And that's what the shows are supposed to do, in my opinion. You're supposed to like characters that haven't gotten their full time to shine or their full solo movies. And I think that's kind of the purpose of these shows. I'm really excited for this one. It's going to fill in the Mandalorian's gap as Mando is the past two November, December seasons. We're getting this, and I guess we're getting Book of Boba Fett. I really don't know what the hell is going on with that. But Hawkeye is going to be that show that friends and family come together to watch every week. They talk about it. The buzz is going to be real. It could be very well the best. Marvel show. We're forgetting Yelena is going to be in this. Other familiar faces in the MCU could show up. I am so pumped for this. What do you guys think of the trailer? Again, hit that like button and let me know in the comments down below. I really want to have a conversation. Let's break it down. What are your theories for Hawkeye? Let's talk about it all in the comments down below. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss future reactions, breakdowns, all those Marvel videos that I love doing. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.